When I was five years old, my mother always told me that happiness was the key to life. When I went to school, they asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up. I wrote down happy. They told me I didn't understand the assignment, and I told them they didn't understand life. Trying to please everybody is impossible. If you did that, you'd end up in the middle with nobody liking you. You've just got to make the decision about what you think is your best and do it. If everyone demanded peace instead of another television set, then there'd be peace. Declare it, just the same way we declare war. That is how we will have peace. We just need to declare it. I believe in everything until it's disproved. So I believe in fairies, the myths, dragons. It all exists even if it's in your mind. Who's to say that dreams and nightmares aren't as real as the here and now? If we cannot love ourselves, we cannot fully open to our ability to love others or our potential to create. It matters not who you love, where you love, why you love, when you love, or how you love. It matters only that you love. We live in a world where we have to hide to make love, while violence is practiced in broad daylight. Imagine all the people living life in peace. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I hope someday you'll join us, and the world will be as one. Peace is not something you wish for. It's something you make, something you do, something you are, and something you give away. Our society is run by insane people for insane objectives. I think we are being run by maniacs for maniacal ends, and I think I'm liable to be put away as insane for expressing that. That's what's insane about it. There's nothing new under the sun. All the roads lead to Rome, and people cannot provide it for you. I can't wake you up. You can wake you up. I can't cure you. You can cure you. I don't believe in killing, whatever the reason. All we are saying is give peace a chance. If you want peace, you won't get it with violence. Everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay, is not the end. There are two basic motivating forces: fear and love. When we are afraid, we pull back from life. When we are in love, we open to all that life has to offer with passion, excitement, and acceptance. We need to learn to love ourselves first, in all our glory and our imperfections. If we cannot love ourselves, we cannot fully open to our ability to love others or our potential to create. Being honest may not get you a lot of friends, but it will always get you the right ones. Love, love, love. All you need is love. Love is all you need.